MCT oil and coffee? Do those two things go together? Or are we talking about the coffee that you buy when you're getting your oil changed at the Jiffy Lube? I've got the down low for you guys, and don't you worry, before you finish watching this video, you've got the down low, the scoop, and you'll be drinking MCT oil coffee, I promise you. Let me tell you something, MCT oil and coffee go together like Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Tune in to learn more. <laughs> hey everybody, I am Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, most recently keto convert, and I'm also somebody who's drinking an MCT oil filled coffee. And I'm gonna explain to you why I freaking love it and why I've learned a lot more about the benefits of MCT oil and why I'm obsessed with it and why I know you will be too going forward. So tune in to learn more and we're gonna start talking coffee, coffee, coffee. All right, y'all, you know the drill. Make sure that you are subscribed. And make sure you hit that adorable little bell so that you are notified whenever we put out a new video here on my most fantastic channel, you don't want to miss a thing, do you? Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee Talk with Kelly. And here I am drinking a freshly brewed cup of MCT oil filled coffee. And I'm gonna share with you guys what the dealio is with MCT oil and coffee and why the two of them go together like Sunny and Cher and why you should be in love with MCT oil, stocking yourself up with some, or just doing what I do and make an MCT coffee, MCT keto coffee, whatever you wanna call it, the way that I do. Because at the end of this video, I'm even gonna show you exactly how I make my most, my most recent concoction development of Kelly's Keto Coffee that's delicioso you're gonna see a demo at the end of this video and then you're gonna be like this. OMG Kelly, can I come to your house? Can I just, do you have a drive through window where I can order this? Oh, I can't? I can't order? You don't have a drive through window? Well, how can I get the next best thing? Oh, you're saying I can order some and make it at my own house? Okay, tell me what I need to do to be able to do that and I will hook you up, don't you worry. So. Here's what I've learned, and this, and what's funny is if you guys go and you look at some of my most recent TikToks and reels on Facebook and Instagram, you'll see I've literally just in the past couple of weeks been talking about this. Um, it's so, I have like hair, <laughs> a couple of hairs were falling out and they were crawling down my back, it felt funny, sorry. So, um, before, let me just, let me get to the front of the line and tell you what MCT stands for. So MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. And what I've learned that I'd always heard about MCT oil and I was like, what's the big deal, blah, blah, blah. I never got it, I never paid attention to it. I certainly knew that it was a healthy fat, I knew all of that stuff. But, and I knew that people put it in coffee. I knew that some people made bulletproof coffee with it, but I was like, why would I put MCT oil? It, why would I make my coffee with, you know, just oil? Like, I just didn't get it. And sometimes it's funny because sometimes you should look into things as opposed to just going, well, that sounds funny. I don't want to do it. And I'm learning a lot of those lessons because I said that about keto. Um, so what I will tell you before we get to some of the other things I've learned is that medium chain triglycerides, that, that kind of a fat is absorbed into your body. It goes right to your liver like that. And what that means is, is it's going to fill you up fast. And I can tell you that is very true different than all of the other fats. I believe different than all of the other fats. I don't, I think there's just a few other medium chain triglycerides. I have to look that up. I'm a little embarrassed that, um, and I'll put it back in, in the notes down below if I look that up. 
But um, I, th I wonder if coconut oil is a medium chain triglyceride. I'm a little embarrassed. But anyway, all of the other healthy fats like butter, if say you're using grass-fed butter, et cetera, these are long chain triglycerides. So they take a lot longer to be absorbed by the body and they are not going to fill you up as fast. Now, I know this to be true. And one of the things that I was observing very notably in my own life with my coffee is this. I have changed the, the coffee drink that I've been drinking in the morning um, three times probably over the past, well, the past year and a half. Before I was keto, I was drinking a, a certain coffee drink that I had, I had perfected a coffee drink, a, a low calorie coffee drink, and I was making it uh, over there at my Nespresso. I felt like I needed to point that out to you, I don't know why. Um, I was making it, and this is actually still the way I make my husband's coffee, but I would brew a, an, an espresso, excuse me, an espresso, a shot of espresso, and then I would make, I would use about a half a cup of almond milk, and then I would add, for healthy fats, I would add some coconut, um, coconut cream, and I would, I would froth that up, and then I would add my sugar-free sweetener, uh, this, this keto sweetener. This was even before I was keto. I used uh, some sugar-free sweetener this, uh, that I heard about from Guy Gone Keto. You can order it on his website. It's out of stock right now, but I will see if I can link that up for you. I'll actually link up both of these sweeteners. There's a secondary sweetener that I buy when he's out of stock that you can get on Amazon. I'll link that down below. It's really, really good. It's also monk fruit and stevia. Very, very good. Um, and then I would put um, sugar-free. Now this is, here's the deal. I, I'm okay. I also, I, I'm okay with the occasional um, Splenda um, based stuff. And I drink a diet soda at least once a day. So if you want to judge me for that, have at it. I really don't care. Um, and if you want to argue with me and say, oh my God, if you drink diet soda or you drink Splenda, it's going to trick your body into thinking that it's drinking, you know, eating sugar, it's going to make you gain fat. I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds over the past year. So I don't think my body is thinking that I'm drinking, eating sugar and it, it's gaining fat. Clearly I'm not gaining fat and I've been drinking a diet soda every day for the past year. So there's that. So if you want to think that, that's fine. We can argue that till the cows come home. I'm not gonna go there. And I'm also not gonna stop drinking diet soda. So to me, I think a little bit of something something is okay. That's my, my kryptonite. Um, so the, that was the way that I was making coffee before I went keto. Now when I went keto, I started making the um, keto coffee that you'll see, you'll see the little packets. So these are, well, that's a little bright over there. These are, um, keto packets from Prove It. You can order these for me, by the way, if you're interested. These are made with MCT oil. So once I went keto, I didn't plan on it, but I thought, okay, I'm a distributor for Prove It. I sell their ketones. And I knew they had this keto cream coffee and I decided to try it one day and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, once I tried this, I found that instead of having two to three cups of coffee a morning, which I was when I was making my coffee with almond milk and coconut cream, I used to have two to three cups of that a morning. When I switched over to this, I found that I would only have one cup of coffee. Now, I didn't pay attention to the fact that this was made with MCT oil and that that's why it was filling me up. I really didn't. This is 130 calories for one serving. So all you do is you dump this into a cup of coffee or an Americano, that's how I was making it. But when I switched to this, I have, I've only been having one cup of coffee every morning. And it was pretty cool because I was like, wow, I went from having about the, the way that I made my coffee before, each cup was about 120, 125 calories. So I went from having three or 400 calories a morning to 120, 130. I think this is 130. Um, and then this has been just about the past five or six weeks. I saw this gal named Ashley on YouTube and she was talking about 
Um, she's the person that got me in, interested in OMAD and you know, doing this whole one meal a day thing. And she was talking about Bulletproof Coffee and doing OMAD and all of that. And it just made me have this like head tilt moment of like, I think I want to try Bulletproof Coffee because I did Bulletproof Coffee years ago and I really enjoyed it. And it just kind of made me want to try do something different. And so it wasn't that I wasn't enjoying my keto coffee at all. That wasn't it. I just wanted to do something different. So I started making Bulletproof Coffee and I was making it with my Kerrygold grass-fed butter, excuse me, and I was doing two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, measuring it out, of course, because it's very easy with, with butter or any kind of healthy fat. If you're just eyeballing it, you can either go way over or way under. So I was doing two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, and I thought, oh, I'll just have one, you know, one um, Bulletproof coffee. And everybody says about Bulletproof coffee, oh, it's so filling, you know, the, the healthy fats, they'll fill you up, la, la, la. Well, I had one Bulletproof coffee and didn't fill me up at all. And then I would have two Bulletproof coffees. And I'm like, well, I'm having two. This, of course, will fill me up. And that's like 400 calories, you guys. Didn't fill me up at all. And I, it was, I was getting super frustrated because I'm trying to do this one meal a day. And this is before I bought the books because I'm like, how is it that she's doing like two Bulletproof coffees and she's totally full and I'm like trying to get through the day and I was more hungry than I'd ever been. And I just found myself totally preoccupied with food more than I'd been almost since I'd gone keto. And maybe it's just, I, I don't know what the deal was, but I started doing some Googling about Bulletproof coffee and, and all of this stuff. And this is when I stumbled on this whole MCT oil, medium chain triglyceride thing. And that's when I was looking this up and I realized like, wait a second. Okay, so some people make their Bulletproof coffee with one tablespoon of uh, butter, one tablespoon of MCT oil. And so that's still a 200, essentially a 200 calorie cup of coffee. But because they're using one tablespoon of MCT oil, it's gonna fill you up faster because it's got the medium chain triglycerides. So I said to myself, self, why don't you order some medium chain triglycerides? Why don't you order some MCT oil? Why don't you make your, your bulletproof coffee? Because at first I told myself, I'm going to not do bulletproof coffee during the week. I'm going to go back to just doing this during the week and I'll save bulletproof coffee for the weekend. And I was kind of disappointed, you guys. I'm going to be honest with you because I was really loving that creamy taste of the, the butter and the coffee. And I was like, we've got to break up. But then I'm like, wait a second. So all of these thoughts and research came together and all of a sudden I went, wait a second. MCT oil and butter from over there. Why don't I just combine this with a tablespoon, one tablespoon of butter? So instead of doing my bulletproof coffee the way I was with two tablespoons of butter, why don't I combine this with one tablespoon of butter? This will be the MCT oil, which will fill me up. One tablespoon of butter will make this creamier and maybe a little less sweet. And I tried it, and let me just tell you, do you see this? This is like gold in a cup, my friends. This is liquid gold. It fills you up. It's a little sweeter than just the Bulletproof coffee because the Bulletproof coffee by itself doesn't have as much flavor, so it needs a little bit more sweetener. This uh, keto cream comes in all of these different flavors, and, and they've got seasonal flavors. Like at Christmas, we come out with... Um, uh, peppermint mocha, we've got pumpkin spice, we've got creme brulee, so they are a little bit sweeter. And the butter, when you put the butter in it, it gives it a little bit, it takes the, the sweet edge off of it. So it's a little bit nicer. It's like, it, both of the things, and, and it does. So now what's great is on the, there was a rare occasion, I think today actually was the one day that I had two. Um, and I think that's because I just did a 24 hour fast yesterday. Um, I, I just had like a raging hunger today. I don't know why. Normally I'm not that hungry after a 24 hour fast, but anyway, um, this plus the butter 
I just have, I'm back to having one cup of coffee. So then it's, it's about, it's 130 plus 90 calories for the butter. It's uh, 220 calories and it is absolutely delicious. And the MCT oil in here makes me full brilliant. And by the way, like I said before, you can order this stuff from me. Incidentally, as I post this video today, we are having a huge sale. Box of this is on sale for 54 bucks. If you happen to catch this video, you can place an order today. But if you happen to catch this video on July 1st, the sale will be over. Tough luck. But that's okay because we'll have future... We, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have future sales and if you'd like um, on the coffee note what you could do um, if you miss the sale is you could order uh, a trial pack from me you could order like a five or ten day um, trial experience from me and I will send you that um, it is uh, let's see a <sighs> I've got to make sure they're, they're slightly less than a ketone. So, um, a ketones five day and, and three day trial experience are 30 and $50 plus nine ninety five shipping. So coffee, uh, three and five day experience would be, uh, 25 and 45 plus shipping. And what I usually do is I also throw in, some additional of the other products. So if you order like a coffee experience from me, I'll throw in some ketones, maybe some protein. Um, if you order a ketones experience from me, I'll throw in some coffee. Um, if you'd like to, for me to combine a little bit of both, I can get you a quote, you know, just let me know what you're interested in. It's a great way for you to just test out some products um, without committing to a full box, of course. So let me know if you're interested in that. Just comment below and then we'll get something started for you. Um, but again, back to what I said about MCT oil. MCT oil is a very healthy fat. It is incredible because it is amazing. It goes straight to your liver. It is absorbed immediately and it will fill you up. I had no idea all this time. I just thought I'd heard about it all the time. I, I heard about people talking about, you know, oh, it's brain food, it's in bulletproof coffee. And I was like, why would I just, why would, what? I just had no idea. And now I get it. So <clears throat> I have come up now with the third variation of how I make my coffee. And again, I filmed it. So when I shut up here, you're gonna get to watch the video of how specifically I make my coffee. It is, it's so brilliant. And especially now that we have this, um, I just got a new Ninja blender. We've been using a Ninja blender, but my last one um, finally came on its last legs. And so we just got a new one. Um, I will link up to that as well. It is the best deal ever. Um, you don't need to go out and spend money on a blend tech or a, a Vitamix. Get yourself a Ninja system. They are the best value ever. And it's the best way to blend yourself up um, a Bulletproof coffee. Plus you can make nut butters, you can make smoothies, you can make acai bowls, you can make pff, everything. You can make soups in it. I didn't plan on talking about the Ninja, but heck, I'm just being a salesperson, so there you go. Um, but honestly, like, that's one of the best ways to start your day. And I practice intermittent fasting, but I still start my day with a fat-fueled coffee. And that keeps me full until, usually, I don't even eat lunch until like one or two. And the only thing I'll have after my fat-fueled coffee, and now, like I told you guys, most of the time I'm doing one meal a day. The, the latest thing that I'm into now is for my weeks now, I'm doing two high carb days, two 24 hour fast. <laughs> I said two 24 hour fast like that. I didn't mean to. Two high carb days a week because my doctor said I shouldn't be 100% keto all the time anymore now that it's been a year and now that I've pretty much hit my weight loss goal. So two high carb days a week, two 24 hour fasts a week, and the rest of the days I am, for the most part, um, one meal a day. I am, I'm reading two books on one meal a day just to understand a little bit better the concept behind it. I just wanna understand a little bit more 
the concept of, you know, are you supposed to be cutting your calories back? Are you supposed to be trying to eat a full day's worth of calories on your one meal? You know, do you just, do you not worry about it? You know, just making sure I understand, but it, it, I really like it. Um, so when I do one meal a day, um, what I've been doing is start my day off the same way. I have a, this version of the Bulletproof coffee. Um, I think maybe one day I've had two, two of the Bulletproof coffees. Um, but most of the time I've had one. Then I have my other liquid supplements, my L-carnitine. I have my, my first dose of ketones in the, and in the morning. Um, bone broth, I, I've just learned today um, the importance for me to have bone broth for uh, preventing muscle cramps and I'm supposed to be supplementing with salt every single day. I have not been doing that. Um, and I woke up in the middle of the night with a Charlie horse last night. I was listening to this audible book um, by Gary Tobes, The Case for Keto. And he's like, two supplements that are super important for people on keto, magnesium, which I take every night, and, and salt. And you can get salt either through an electrolyte supplement or bone broth. And he's like, bone broth is actually better because it has so many more nutrients for you. And at Prove It, we've got this amazing bone broth product, which I have in my cabinet. And so I'm like, why would I not just do bone broth? Because I can also do that on fasting days, right? Um, and it's just, it's a great thing to have when you're fasting because it also, it tastes, this French onion version, this French onion flavor tastes so good. Um, so again, when I do the one meal a day, I have my coffee, I'll do my L-carnitine supplement, I do my ketones, I might have a bone broth, but I usually don't, um, I don't want to say I don't need it, I just contradicted myself. Based on what I've learned today, I really should have one. Then I would have another um, ketones, and then by that time, it's getting close to dinner time, and so I just, you know, eke it out, I might get myself a Diet Pepsi by the end of the day, and then it's dinner time. So there you go. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys as far as, you know, what's an MCT oil coffee? Why do we drink it? Um, you know, what, what are the benefits? Um, how do you make it? I'm going to attach, you know, um, how I make, attach. You guys can watch now how I make my MCT oil coffee. Um, and again, down below, if you guys would like to order either a, a box of any of the flavors of our Prove It Keto Cream Coffee, they are absolutely delicious. And obviously, as you can tell, these packets are fantastic to be able to take with you wherever you wanna go. Whenever we go on vacation, I pack these, I pack my little milk frother, um, which I will, I will link down below as well, the frother, because it's so small, it's like the size of a tampon. So when we go on vacation, Steve and I will go out to a restaurant for breakfast, I pack one of these in my purse, I pack my milk frother, and I order, um, I simply order an Americano, pour this in, froth it up right there, and I've got my keto coffee, and I don't have to worry about what almond milk are they using, how much sugar does it have, how many carbs does it have. I've got exactly my keto coffee, it's going with me, and I know I'm having 130 calories. Bada boom, bada bing. So all of this stuff will be linked up below. Um, let me know what questions you have. If you would like to order bone broth from me, coffee from me, ketones from me, that's all down below. I'm also gonna link down below my um, free keto quick start guide for any of you guys that are interested in starting to kick the tires for keto and learn a little bit more about keto. Obviously, I've mentioned before, I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds going keto over the last year. It changed my life. I would love to help you get started going down that road and I'm happy to answer any questions. And of course, as well, I'm gonna put down a link for my um, upcoming five-day online keto bootcamp for women. If you have questions on that, let me know, but just go ahead and check out uh, the landing page and see if that's something you might be interested in as well. That could change your life in just five days and it's only $99. So hopefully that sounds appealing to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out the coffee, go make yourself one, and I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Remember, you're just one, one change away from an incredibly better tomorrow.